Hi there, my name is Derek and I'm here today with Anna. And Anna is a farmer. Where, where are you from, Anna? I, well, I mean, I'm from Maine, but I work at a farm called Old Friends Farm in Amherst, Massachusetts. And uh, tell me wh why you do that. What, what got you involved in farming? I have probably been farming since I was a teenager. Um, there was a local family farm near where I lived, and I worked there in the summer. Really enjoyed working outside, growing food. I got really involved just in food in general. Um, and I took a job in Massachusetts where I was a chef and food educator as well as a farmer, so I worked part of the time in the field and part of the time cooking and educating people about good food. And so you have a lot of knowledge of food. Expanding knowledge. I'd say that the GMO issue has only kind of come to the forefront of my understanding recently. So you are a little, working on organic farms, especially in the Pioneer Valley of Massachusetts, you're a little isol or insulated perhaps from these issues. Nobody talks about GMOs there because there's no commodity crops for the most part. Like there's a couple of people growing corn. There's nobody really growing soy. It's not something that we worry about. But at the same time, Monsanto is buying up all of the seed companies and so even small farms are dealing with the fact that their seed options are limited now. Um, and so it's becoming a little more of an issue for small farmers. Where do you buy your seed at the beginning of the season? You don't want to buy it from somebody who has sold out to Monsanto. We have a couple of options. Seed Saver Exchange, um, high mowing, and it's like, it's great to support them, but sometimes they don't have the seed you need to be successful as a small farmer, and so it's a balancing act. And I think the small farms in our area are starting to struggle with how to work that into their, uh, you know, what they want to do for the good of the planet kind of thing. What do you grow? The farm that I work at uh, grows organic ginger. Organic, well, it's all organic. Um, salad greens and flowers. Um, it's actually rare. We have a pretty large flower component at the farm. Um, we sell a lot of wholesale, and in some ways, we are competing with the really toxic flower farms in South and Central America, and so um, our organic flowers are kind of a specialty item. Um, and we also grow a mix of, of vegetables for farmers markets, but it's kind of a minimum part of the overall thing. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, as a small farmer, what sort of interactions do you have with regulators? Personally, because I just work at the farm, I'm not the farmer. I have very little. Um, I mean, we have, I guess we have uh, this organic certifiers come by, but they're they're not regulators in the sense of regulators. They're, they come and they see that your practices are in line with what you've said um, on the forms and for the most part they're just there to kind of keep their eye on things. What do you want to come as a result of what happens here today? As a personal consumer, I would like labels on my food. As a farmer, I want to know that there is a secure source of non-genetically modified seed in my future. Um, and I want, <clears throat> I don't want Monsanto to have a monopoly of food in the world. I think a lot of people share your concerns. Yeah, I imagine. So I wish more of them were here today. But well, I, I appreciate your questions, uh, your answers to my relatively difficult questions. I have one final one for you, and uh, it's well, it's a two-parter. First, uh, I assume that you oppose um, the use of force against peaceful people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Most people do. And so, uh, you know, we've got a peaceful group here today. A lot of police uh, are, are present, but they're not using any force, thankfully. Correct. Um, would you advocate the use of force um, against someone who refuses to label GMOs? You mean, like, if the state refuses to mandate it, or if a small grocer refuses, or like a producer refuses? I mean like a small grocer, because uh, there was one girl who came up and spoke earlier that she wants to start a grocery store of non-GMO food, which I think is awesome. And there are a lot of um, grocery stores that are small, 
and they can't afford at this time to, to label. If it became the law that they had to do that, right. do you have sympathy for them or do you think they should be thrown in jail? What do you think should happen? I mean, I don't know. Okay, that's fair. That's, that's an answer to the question. I appreciate <laughs> it. And it is a difficult question. Yeah. So I appreciate your time today and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it is.